Hey everyone, it's Dorothy with crazyforcrust.com and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make the easiest summer dessert that everyone loves, ice cream. It's a three ingredient ice cream recipe that you can make without a machine. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this recipe. I love making homemade ice cream, but there's always two, one of two problems. Either you don't have an ice cream maker, or you're like me and you forget to freeze the insert that goes in your ice cream maker to make the ice cream. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make an ice cream that does not need to have a machine. That's right, three ingredients, you stir it up, you freeze it, and magically you get ice cream. I'm gonna show you how to make vanilla ice cream today, but one of the best things about this recipe is how versatile it is. I have made so many different flavors. I've made mint, peanut butter, chocolate, cake batter. I've made so many different flavors of this ice cream, and I'm gonna give you tons of ideas today on how to dress it up to make your favorite flavor without even leaving your house. For more delicious desserts and easy recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get in the kitchen. Now, you only need three ingredients to make this recipe. You need heavy whipping cream, sweetened condensed milk, and vanilla. That's it, three ingredients to make a delicious vanilla ice cream, no machine needed. All right, start your recipe with heavy whipping cream, two cups of cold heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna add it to a very large bowl and I'm gonna use a hand mixer to whip it into whipped cream. You can also use a stand mixer for this. Now it's gonna take a while to get it from cream into whipped cream, but that's okay, just keep mixing. Quick tip, if you start with cold beaters and a cold bowl, it will whip up faster. Once you have your heavy whipping cream, then you're gonna add sweetened condensed milk. Now sweetened condensed milk is something that you can buy in the baking aisle at the grocery store. Make sure you get sweetened condensed, not evaporated. It comes in a 14 ounce can. And we're gonna use one full 14 ounce can for this. So go ahead and pour that over your whipped cream and I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now, instead of using my mixer, I'm gonna just fold that together and make sure it get, com get it completely mixed um, without breaking the whipped cream. So just fold it slowly until it's completely mixed. And that's it. That's how you make your ice cream base. It's that simple. Once you have your base, you're going to freeze it. So what I do is I put it into a loaf pan, I cover it with plastic wrap, and then I freeze it until it's set at least four hours. But the best thing about making this recipe is how easy it is to dress it up to your liking. Like I said before, I've made so many different versions of this, so let's talk about some flavor ideas. Whatever mix-ins you add, extracts, or flavors. You can make this chocolate ice cream. You can make it peanut butter ice cream. You can add tons of different extract flavors, not just vanilla. You can do coconut or lemon or rum or chocolate or any extract that you like. And not only that, you can add any mix-ins. You could add chopped Oreos for cookies and cream ice cream or chocolate chips for chocolate chip ice cream. Add peppermint extract with a little bit of green food coloring to make mint. Or you could add in some chopped nuts or Heath Bits, anything that you like. I've even added cream cheese to make cheesecake ice cream. The options are endless with this recipe. After about at least four hours, or you can do overnight or even a day or so ahead of time, um, this is what your ice cream looks like. I have mine in a loaf pan because it's just easier to put it in a loaf pan and scoop it out that way, but you could put it into a Tupperware or anything you like. This is the plain vanilla ice cream. It's nice and set and frozen, and when it starts to melt a little bit, it gets nice and creamy and delicious. I can't wait to taste it. Let's try it out. It's soft and creamy, so much flavor. I added some chocolate sauce on mine because I love that. Leave me a comment and let me know what flavors you would add to your ice cream. If you love this recipe, you're gonna wanna keep watching. This is delicious, so good. Mm. 